Durante, a student at Simon Fraser University in Burnaby, B.C., who responded to the last piece we did on the movement to decriminalize marijuana. Politicians responded to the, the opinion polls that Angus Reid takes or Health Canada takes. Uh, then we would have had decriminalization back in 1994 and cafes last year. That's a democracy, but we don't have one of those here. So uh, what we have instead is little opportunities for reason to prevail in giant oceans of irrationality and, and interest. Although I am not an avid user of pot, since all it seems to do for me is render my brain inactive and propel me in front of the TV to watch hours of bad videos on much music, I do not condemn its use. What angers me is the misdirected energy that is wasted on a movement that seems to promise no benefits. For those who are suffering from major illnesses, there are other forms of medication, maybe not as cheap, but available. No one has trouble obtaining marijuana or difficulties in finding a place to smoke it. Don't screw with a good thing. What do you want? A society where pot can be bought in convenience stores to be taxed by our friendly government? I can't wait till my fellow employees have a smoke over their lunch breaks. The slogan, make love not war, will be replaced with smoke pot not tobacco. Any hint of cynicism is undeniably intentional. Now, Len, first, don't you think that everybody should have the right to the cheapest form of medication available? Well, many others do because membership in the Compassion Club that we featured on our show has doubled since that episode from three to 600. Uh, the Compassion Club, they don't get rated because they're seen as a low-key, uh, non-publicity-oriented uh, service agency. Secondly, while it's true that people have no trouble in obtaining marijuana, many users are still heavily penalized in this country, and enormous sums of taxpayers' money continue to be squandered on a losing war on drugs. Hey, next week, Hemp BC goes before City Council to ask for its license back after police working with Navy investigators but disguised as customers bust them and shut them down. But there's a rumor right now of a Vancouver-wide police crackdown to coincide with their hearing. That's the kind of misdirected energy that angers me. And on a future episode of Big Life, watch for Mr. Nice. He yes, was Britain's yes, most yes. wanted man with 43 aliases, smuggling at the height of his career consignments of up to 30 tons of marijuana, and you will like him. Oh, I think if it was only money, I wouldn't have done it, no. Uh, but, uh, and I probably would have done it if there was. She was a good girl. Till she visited. Dope fiends have conflict shots. Hey, kid. You want to buy a book? Here, I got something to show you. All good. Welcome to dopefiends.com. We provide you with information that is safe, profitable, and productive. Learn safety techniques that will help keep your plants, shrooms, and laboratories clean, well-maintained, and hidden from any nosy neighbors. Be more profitable by knowing the best varieties for you, best techniques, and the best maintenance for your operation. Want to increase your productivity? We have books and videos that will show you how to utilize your space more efficiently, written by professionals in the field. So now that you have the information, and you know where to get it, and you know where to find it, be wise and buy from DopeFiends.com for all your growing knowledge.